everyone. I'm going to wait for you to join me. It's a little bit glitchy. wait for you all to get logged in hopefully hello Facebook user I don't know who you are Chris is that you messing around yeah. <laughs> don't play the video it's making the internet go a bit bad can you pause it, please? I'll shut that down. Hello, Facebook oh, user. Can't help himself. Hello. Hi, Celia. And I've got three of you on. I don't know who your names are. I'm sorry, because it's actually, um, I think you might be in the group. Our internet is really bad. Hi, Mars. I've kind of got a bit of a delay going on. Chris, can you shut that down, that page? Can you just quit it altogether? Quit the internet. So it's not streaming anywhere. Yeah, our internet, yeah, there's a bit of a lag. It's, we've had really bad internet today. I was, I'm shocked I'm actually even here, to be honest. I thought I was going to have to cancel it earlier. Um, so, Elaine's here. Hello. Uh, hello. Um, who is usually on YouTube? I do know who you are, but I can't remember your name. I'm sorry if you're the same lady that joins every week. Gigi, hey, hey. Jack is here as well. And we've got someone from Eastern Washington, Eastern Washington, is that WA? Is that Washington State? Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? But I'm on a bit of a lag, so it's like looking a little bit weird to me right now. I'm kind of talking and it's not matching. But um, is the sound okay? Are you getting a lag or is it just me? Just let me know. if Is everything in sync? Because it definitely definitely isn't here I'm about half a second out hi Melanie hi Michelle from Minnesota anyway thank you all for joining me Western Montana well sounds fine so it's you guys okay so it's just here then right that's fine I'm just gonna carry on then so um, if anything goes weird just someone just please leave a comment and I'll try and keep an eye on it uh, like I say our internet is really bad it actually has been going on and off all day so we may well actually just lose the the live altogether but I don't know we'll we'll see it um so a few more hellos Sandy Shim Roman from Oahu where's that Sandy I've not heard of Oahu well I kind of has but I don't know where it is Michelle, hello Heather, hello, uh, hello from the Netherlands, those of you, um, if you are, it depends where you're actually commenting on this live, so if you are in the Facebook group or we're not friends, I can't see your name, so it just comes up as Facebook user, um, there should be I think there might be like a little permission thing right at the top of the post somewhere um, and if you click that it will give permission for your name that's if you want your name to appear in the comments or not I will do a give giveaway at the a little giveaway at the end um, and Celia's in Lancashire I think do you mean Lancashire <laughs> I'm in Yorkshire right anyway shall we get on so do you know, I've had one of those days where I literally couldn't think of what I was going to make today um, and I've just lost all my stamps and everything. So, I, you know, kind of sometimes you just sit there and you're like, I really can't think of what I'm going to do. 
I, I feel like I'm just a one trick pony at the moment and all I do is make the same kind of things all, all the time and it's just because I love that style and there's nothing wrong with that but in terms of kind of being inspiring for you guys I just kind of feel like it's not very inspiring so I kind of went off had a little hunt for some different bits and pieces out of my stash and I kind of did find a few bits so um things that have been hanging around for years like we all do um I did find one I did actually find a little cool trick that I'm going to show you as well so hopefully that you'll I've never seen anyone do it before so anyway let's get on shall we so let me switch cameras over hopefully this is going to work okay um so i am going to be using the new christmas release i know i used this last week and i showed you it last week when we launched but it's so cute and just in case anyone hasn't seen this i'm just gonna quickly look at the state of me i'm just gonna <laughs> hee hee I'm going to quickly go through um, the the new release. Yeah, I agree. It is it is my style, um, and yeah, it does make you what you are. Um, I just kind of wish that I could do something. I just seem to be in the zone of doing one particular style of thing at the minute, and I think it's because I'm really feeling mixed me more of a mixed media sort of shabby chic look at the minute. So anyway. Um, so I'm going to quickly go through these because uh, some people won't have seen these. If you haven't, they're actually on the website. We are getting short on stock already of some of these and we are not reordering these because it is now the 6th of October. Um, the one I do have to tell you that is actually out of stock now, if you didn't get this and you wanted it... Um, I'm sorry but this is now out of stock this stamp set which is such a shame because it's absolutely stunning and it's been a it was one of my it was probably my favorite out of the winter kingdom collection and it was obviously yours as well because that's gone now uh, that sold out completely today and we can't get it back so that one i'm sorry it's gone and that's annoying because i won't be able to use it again so we do have the release from last week so we've got Tweety's Christmas these are all I'm gonna put the stamp next to it because the stamps are much bigger than it shows on the packaging um, so these are fabulous so we've got Mule Tide Wishes move that out of the way which is this one as you can see a really nice big he is awesome you can use this all year round we were saying this looks like a beach hut or it could be like a circus tent or anything like that this one sneaked in the little autumn critters so this one which is stamp of the month for september i think we've literally got about three or four of these left and that is it i don't know how it's hanging on um but that is gorgeous that makes some stunning cards so i'm going to just move that out of the way and then we have uh twinkle which is the one with the baubles and I might actually use that today. I'm not sure. I kind of didn't plan to, but hey ho. Then we've got the Jingle Bells, which is the sleigh. So ho ho ho, we've got this little sand here that says, Here comes Santa Claus. Zoom in just a little bit there. Get a little bit closer and you can see them a little bit better. Um, we have Rockin' Robin, which is super cute. So this little fat robin could be any other bird as well. A little fence my favorite stamp on here is actually this little tiny bird here who's actually got um a little envelope in his mouth look that's that's really cute you can make lots of different things with that one we've got christmas boots which is the robin and the little rabbit i'm just flicking through because i don't want to bore people that have already seen it but i know not everyone has the poinsettia greetings this is lovely so just this nice little pot of poinsettias and that's quite a big stamp there that you can see there it's a good two and a half inches that one and then you've got bits of holly and a really nice uh, sentiment banner there pile of presents this has been a real design team favorite i think this one everybody's loved this and what i like about this is you get all the baubles here hanging down as well so that's a really nice set 
we've got Merry Christmas Santa so cute he's awesome I'm not going to go through all the samples I show I know we went through those last last week but if you go onto the gallery if you're wanting to see what any of these make it's all there on the gallery we've got the three kings I'm leave that one to the end I'm going to show you that in fact we are at the end we've then got oh camel you faithful and this is our big camel stamp so he is so cute he's going to be the next one to sell out i think um and then from the so that's the latest release which we launched last week and then the release before that which is still brand new it's only about i don't know three weeks ago is from the um uh winter kingdom so that goes with these go with this so this one is gone and sold out uh, so this is Sparkle Kingdom and with him you get this lovely big, let me just move these out of the way, I'm going to tip my water over if I'm not careful. So you're getting this lovely snowman, this gorgeous big tree and all these lovely snowflakes, really lovely. Then we've also got Winter Kingdom which is Mr and Mrs Snowman. which are these so you can see these are a really good size so they're still nice and easy to to uh, color in nothing too difficult we've got the all is calm winter rabbits which has been another favorite actually actually that might be the next one to sell out these have been really really popular um but again you can use these all year round you'll be able to use those for valentine's for spring for anything you like great for baby cards as well um and then we've got the glad tidings wreath so this is all from the winter kingdom collection these ones and again that wreath is just a nice size just a really super pretty stamp set good one for if you want something a bit more traditional maybe so they're the winter kingdom ones so like i said there's only four of those left now so i'm not going to use those today i don't think <clears throat> so oh and what I have forgotten to show you is what I'm actually I am actually going to be using <laughs> does help if I show you what I'm going to be using and I'm going to be using this one tonight so happy holiday poinsettia so this is lovely and it's a big stamp set it's a big A5 or 6x8 uh, if you're in the US set so as you can see really big and you've got your two poinsettia flowers, holly, you've got a cardinal here, and then you've um, also got, um, this is this could be a robin or it could just be any, any kind of bird. Luckily, when I was last in the States, I actually was there at this time, exactly this time of year, and saw some cardinals, which I was super, super happy about, and blue jays. My friend has lots in her garden. We just used to sit there watching the birds. It's amazing. So let's um, crack on. Um, just trying to keep an eye on the comments as well. So <clears throat> excuse me if I go a bit croaky. Let's have a look and see what we're going to do. So we're going to do something a little bit mixed media-ish not too oh i'm hoping it's not going to be too far i don't think so now one of my tips for you is you know as i said today i couldn't actually decide what i was going to make i just couldn't think of anything that i was going to make you know when you're just really stuck and i i just it was because i've been really busy i've had a bad back this week following on from i think from when i fell down the stairs I've had like bad knees, bad neck, and then it's, I've had a bad back all week. And today was the first day that I've actually been in the office. Um, so, you know, I was kind of struggling a bit because I realized I hadn't done my VAT. And so I've been trying to get that done all day and stressing a bit about that. And then obviously, cause we, knowing that we had a video as well, trying to kind of make some time so that I could sit and think about what I was gonna do. So, this is what we're going to do and i don't know why i've torn that i don't think i actually really want i don't want to tie that i've just done that because it 
originally that's kind of what I was going to do, but I'm not anymore. Right, hang on. I'm going to go back to here. Actually, let's go here. So this is watercolour card. And um, I just want to show you, I thought what we do is maybe kind of, um, I'm going to try and push myself a little bit maybe. And I need to stand up. I don't know how long I'll be able to stand up for, but we'll give it a go. So I'm using my watercolour card. And actually, I will use this. I've just thought of a way that I can actually use it. So, I I don't know if any of you have this. I'm going to just zoom in a bit again. I don't know if any of you have actually got these. This um, ink pad is a custom blend pad. And when you actually get them, I do actually have a blank one somewhere, but I don't know where I've put it. When you get it, it's actually white. Um, a white and an empty ink pad basically blank one and what it means is you can actually custom blend your own inks now I didn't have a purple ink pad purple is a color that I don't really use I love it looks phenomenal on anything I see it on but for some reason I just don't use it so I decided to mix my own purple and I'm going to just show you what I ended up with on the back of here so I took my little reinkers so if you don't know oh god if you don't I'll, I'll show you one that you can actually read so just in case you don't know what these are so ranger do a distressing reinker and they also do the oxides as well and this is just basically the same ink that's in your pad but in a bottle so it means that you can do lots of different things with it and i use these all the time you can actually color with these as well so what I did was I actually mixed, um, not this, these two colours, I mixed peacock feather and picked raspberry together and this is the colour that I actually ended up with. Now I put um, lots of water in, the, in mine so I actually made it quite wet whereas a distress ink is usually kind of like quite dry but you can see that I actually got quite a, a good amount of ink to go down and then what happened was typically as is always the case isn't it it's like when you you can't find something and you buy have to buy a new one because you think you lost it then i found this and so this is the distress oxide now it is a different color so this is dusty concord now these this is the only purple ink pad that i've got it's actually showing up a lot darker there so this is the oxide but you can see that the one I mixed is actually much pinkier so it's kind of almost going into like a bubblegum pink which I really like I didn't want it to go further because then it would go kind of too far into uh, picked raspberry uh, pick, is it picked raspberry? yeah picked raspberry um, but I just thought I'd show you that because I've had these hanging around for ages like I say it's just a blank it's a white blank ink pad let me just rub that a little bit I just don't want ink to go everywhere so I'm just gonna rub that off but as I said you know I've actually made that a lot stronger by adding more water and making it quite you know, putting quite a bit of moisture in it so I think what we'll do I'm gonna set the tone here and I'm gonna just add just a little bit I don't want to ink more i'm kind of playing around a little bit so let's get a stencil and you can see how far my ink's actually going do you know that actually looks really nice and then accidentally because oh, i like that effect so look this is what happens isn't it i was complaining i said i can't think of anything because i haven't had time to be creative and then as soon as you start to actually be creative that's when it all starts to come out isn't it and you start thinking of what you can do so look let's just add a couple of those now i think that looks lovely <laughs> just playing around but look what we're going to do is kind of put that on top so let's maybe because that's so nice I think I want to come out a little bit more let's put a bit more in and I'm going to make it a bit softer 
so we don't have a lot maybe we'll go a bit more down in the bottom oh i think that's gorgeous you wouldn't think necessarily of doing purple snowflakes oops there we go but look when i actually now add that onto there I think maybe we need a little bit more purple just in here just a nice bit of a blend might have gone a bit over the top but I think I quite like that and you can just measure it by eye yeah? just see and if you go over it too much and you've started to lose it then let's just go back over a bit don't want to go I still want a lot of white coming through basically right I quite like that I think I'm going to stick with that so we're going to kind of stick with that like that and if we wanted to all you need to do on that card and I genuinely think this I think all you would need to do is just put a sentiment on there and I think it would look amazing as a Christmas card and how easy and quick is that actually now what i might do just because we can i think what i'm going to do is actually put a little bit of speckled egg in there as well let's just take the same take the same stencil and this is where my and this is where all my brushes then get mixed up so look let's just put on the outer edge there just a little bit don't want too much just nice and soft yeah that looks lovely it looks so nice oh my camera's turned around just I mean there we go. It bothers me that it's not straight. Okay. So I quite like that. I think that looks I think that's looking pretty pretty cute already. So then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put that to a side because I don't want to mess that up. So this is gonna be our kind of our piece that we're going to really concentrate on if you like. And this is just going to be a bit random because I've not really thought about it that much. Now, I need to grab my stamp. What have I done with my stamp? There, right in front of me. I'm already in a mess. So we're going to grab our stamps. And as always, I'm going to use my VersaFine ink. and a couple of stamping blocks so we are going to use there's a nice big holly stamp here which is lovely and I think we'll actually get that using that one first now what I do want to do and I'll put these away what an idiot where have I put them oh do you know just bear with me this always happens to oh, there they are Now, I think what I might do is I wanted to show you something else that I use, and I've not used these for a long time, and I love these. This isn't about me. I don't want to be an enabler and make you all buy something. So I use these all the time, which is my Ecoline markers, okay? And these are a water-based ink. And these are fabulous. I love these. I can I use them all the time. But what I also have is the actual Ecoline inks. And these are really cool. So um, they come like this in a in a box. There's actually I've, I've got 10 colours. I didn't the other set I didn't really these are my favourite colours. I've kind of pulled these ones out. And basically what these are is a little bottle of ink. And I haven't used this for a while. And what we'll do is just 
get a little bit of ink and some water and let's just smooch this around a little bit and what I am going to do I've got um, just a little bit of acetate here and I'm just gonna just move that around a little bit you can see how far they go and how rich they are that's actually a little bit too much let me just get rid of some of this put way too much on there And what I want to do is I just want to add a tiny little bit of, not yellow, I want to add a tiny little bit of green, I think. And that might be enough. Now, if you like getting messy, this is kind of like a really, really nice way to get messy. But... The reason I'm doing this is I want to actually create my own custom blend. So we've done the custom blend with the ink pad, but now I've got my own custom blended ink as well. So when I, this is actually much stronger and much greener uh, than you are seeing there on the camera. But I really like that, that's lush. So what I'm going to do is move, you have to be really careful with these. Put them back in this little tray because it helps to stop them from going everywhere so I'm going to grab my piece of card and then we're just going to smush this over and I like doing this because it's quite controlled like you can find where the ink sits and actually position it so because it's going kind of off here so like there we want some going down the edge and we can actually start to make all these this uh, what an artist would call mark making um, so you know you can just if you want to you know because we've got this look we can actually start to kind of create some patterns so you don't always need a stencil so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go in and pick that up so like I said I'm using watercolour cardstock and I've actually not got my spritzer bottle. Oh, I wonder where's that got? Because I've been at Create and Craft, I was just saying to Chris, when I go to Create and Craft, everything's missing when I come back. It's never in the right places, and we just clean up a little bit. So, I'm sure you've all got your own preference of inks at home that you use. They're just something that I've had. For a few years now and I've not used that because I've got the markers I've kind of stopped using them and actually I really love the inks on their own they go such a long way so I'll clean that up a bit they do, you do it is a very very pigmented ink as you can see so you know you need to be kind of quite clean with it and uh, be careful just need to let's just give that look it's still coming off put that away for now and let's just wipe that back down now I have to confess I've got way too much on here than I actually wanted but it doesn't matter so I'm just going to put them away in fact I'm going to actually put the tops back on <laughs> I nearly I nearly got caught didn't I Yep, it's happened to me before. Put them in my bag, turned up at Great and Craft, and I had a nice inky bag. So, I think what we're going to do, so look now. Oh, look at that. How lovely is that going to be? Really getting quite, there's a lot of colour on there, and there's more on there than I actually wanted. But anyway, never mind. So the other thing I'm going to, where well, I put them now, behind, behind me, okay. So the other thing I'm going to use is my Zig Art and Graphic Twin Brush Pens. And these I have had for probably about 10 years. So we're going to go back to our stamps. picked up a snowflake there by accident 
So we're going to go back to our stamps and I'm going to go to the holly. And these pens are amazing. So what you can do with these is you can actually colour in your stamps. So these are a water-based pen. So they're a watercolour basically. Or a watercolour ink, water-based ink. And this, these are genuinely one of my all-time favourite markers. And you're going to see why. Because they're so versatile and you can do lots with them. Now with these, they have... This tip is really bendy, so you can actually bend it and not damage it. It's it's amazing. It'll never get damaged. Well, I say never. Never is a strong word, but in all the time I've been using these, I've never had them damage on me. And that's really annoying. Oh, there's my... Found it. Found my watercolour. Look. So look. I want to just smudge that in a bit more. I actually wanted to get rid of some of this colour. There we go. So look, because it's what oh, look, that's nicer because it's coming out. That's better. I've just knocked it back a little bit. Okay, that's better. Okay. So this now is a little bit wet. So I think what I might do is let's just dry it off a little bit. Wendy, she's late because she's been to walk. Wah. How rude. <laughs> no, I don't blame you. Hi, Paula. Hi, Nona. Uh, who else is there? A little row of quirky houses and turn it landscape would look like a snowy hill and beautiful sky. Yes, it would. Whoever said that, yeah, that would that'd look amazing. Like this. Wouldn't it look fab? Oh, yes. Isn't that lovely? That would look really nice. Okay, so I've got my stamp. And because of the... Uh, sorry, I got sidetracked there. Because of the tip on this, it means you can actually colour your stamps in. And so we could even colour where we've got the um, little red berries. We can go in and actually colour those. Now it looks messy and it kind of is on here but just wait until we actually stamp this out. So I'm just going to catch those there and then I'm going to huff on this so I'm going to breathe on it just to re-wet the ink. <sighs> okay and then because they're nice and juicy these pens and look at that look how lovely that is so i've still got quite a bit of ink on here so we're going to see if we can get another impression and yes we do they're, honestly they're just so cool these markers i absolutely love them and you can just keep going you know you can get that lovely sort of watercolory you know effect that's you know just in the background absolutely fab they are and if you want to what you can do is if you where this is quite strong if you then go in with your paintbrush you can just literally pick out you know just dab a little bit of water around it and you can actually get just that nice watercolor effect coming through so and it'll just move it'll just help that bit of ink just to move around a little bit and I love that I think that looks gorgeous when it's just kind of that real abstract hint like if you look here it's a hint of what's going on a hint of a painting and it looks really really arty like it was you know done by someone amazing and it isn't it's just done by a stamp and a bit of coloring in so i'm just gonna get rid of that stained on there hasn't it never mind that's fine i don't care so let's get rid of that one 
now what i do want to do on here this is this stamp and i love this this is kind of like a eucalyptus so i'm going to use that on a no we'll go on this block here and again i'm going to use i think we'll use i've got a different color green so that was a very dark olivey green we'll use this one which is i don't know tut 80 is the number so let's see what happens with this one and that squeaking is just the um, tip of the pen because it's kind of um it's not rubberized but it, it's definitely got kind of a rubbery feel when you use them if you've never used these before they are a little bit more expensive they're not horrendously expensive i have to say but um they are worth it i have had this set set this exact set for 13 years and i used to use, i've not been using them much lately but i used to use these all the time and now i've refound them in my stash again i'll be using them all the time again so look at that one oh, look how lovely that comes out and then your second generation so let's go up to there i think I don't need anything I'm going to show you what we're doing down here because we've got we're going to have something kind of going on down here now if you wanted to what you could do if this is still wet in here you can actually lift that up and you can actually use it to ink down there so I just want this as like a bit of a background pattern basically right I think that's it I don't think I want to I'm going to end up overdoing it if I'm not careful. So I'm going to just blast that dry again. And actually what I might do is I'm just going to get my cloth. And I'm just going to dry that off. And what I want to do, it's got it's quite a lot going on here. Let's just soften that down. You know, don't be afraid to go back in and change it and just soften it and it'll just take it back and look at that little pop of oh, it just look lovely and if you wanted to you could go back over it again if you wanted you know like let's let's just do that and i'll just show you there's actually a smaller i'm going to use the smaller um, holly so Let's just go back. In fact, you know what? I'm going to use this lighter one. I really like that. And it, as it's dried, it's dried into a really nice colour. So look, what we'll do is we'll just try and pick up a bit more definition in there now. Because we've lost a little bit of definition. So you can build this as much as you want it to be built you can do what you like sorry if the squeaking's going through you okay so i just love that look i think it just looks so arty and very very creative and at the end of the day we're just using stamps so what I want to do now is I'm going to grab a little bit of scrap. So I've got a bit of scrap here and I'm continuing to use, it's not really looking very Christmassy is it? But maybe that's just me. So I'm going to continue because we're on watercolour card, I'm going to continue to use watercolour card, okay? And so I want a strip. yeah it's not long enough bear with i'm gonna to have to go to an a five now this just needs to really be a bit of a scrap and i'm just going to tear this side now if you think i'm being really generous with my watercolor paper and thinking god you know the cost of watercolor paper i can't be doing with that this is actually aquarelle called aquarelle paper and it's by Win Windsor and Newton and I'm going to show you what I'm using because I love this paper 
this is an A4 or 11 and a half by eight and a half jumbo 50 sheets of hot pressed which means it's nice and smooth look I got this on Amazon and it was I think 12 pound for 50 sheets of A4 and this is really really good quality so because I buy it in a big bulk pack like this I don't mind tearing it and ripping it up and actually using it whereas some of the other papers out there you know it kind of worries me a little bit <laughs> so I want this strip and we're going to actually make it kind of go across now it I don't need it to go across the whole thing but I do want it to come so that it's going to come off the edge here so we're going to trim this down so let me cut that down on one side first so let me do it this way I'm going to just trim that down and this is why I didn't bother here so we're going to actually bring that across there and actually that other strip would have been fine if I thought about it and then what we're going to do is we're going to try and kind of tear this so that it kind of matches roughly to this one underneath actually that's worked out pretty good I think that one cool so now we have this amazing white border and don't throw this away because you'll be able to stamp on this I am I am mean with my watercolor card at the same time and do you know what I think I might actually put this down now I'm gonna glue this in place because it's starting to irritate me so I'm just gonna need to see how much time we've got I feel like I'm rambling oh, crikey where does the time go honestly I don't know how I ever get a demo done on Crane Craft I think the presenters just do such an amazing job of shutting me up and making me concentrate and, and kind of carry on. Right, so I'm going to actually glue this down on there as well. And you'll see why in a minute. Okay. So it just looks like that's all kind of part of the same thing. Whew. time goes nowhere it should have. Do you know it was really cold in here as well and I've put my big winter woolies on and now I'm gonna have to take them off okay right you knew I was gonna have to pull this out didn't you let me just move my card out of the way so this might go on before beyond a bit beyond eight but I'll try not to so earlier I went and pulled this out of the trash and this side had an address label on so I can't really use this side it was a bit difficult to get the, the all the backing off this and I was sat here and I was like oh god this is coming off in all these little tiny bits it's really glued on well this box whoever made this box has done a good job and I was getting really annoyed with it and then I just thought oh, I'm gonna have to go and find another bit because this bit is no no good and then I had a little idea and I picked up a baby wipe or a wet cloth and I want to show you this because this is such a good little tip first time I've ever done this look at this I'm just so it's so cool I actually kind of can't stop doing it now but look you can actually tailor make how you want it to look as well so you know you just literally get your finger into the grooves <laughs> sounds a bit rude doesn't it but um you can then rub all of these bits and look it just lifts off or you can push it back and create lots of curly bits so where it's all kind of folding back for you and yeah you get, you get a bit of mess and stuff but these bits kind of I would keep them and not throw them away anyway to be honest I would put them back on glue them back on and it'll look really cool and you know it just it's I didn't know you could do that but actually it makes common sense but look and you can just it's just easier than tearing it 
because it's a bit of a nightmare to tear it doesn't always come off very well and that whole big piece and all it is is just a few little bits and pieces look that's just gonna it's fab and then all you need to do is just dry it off and it dries really quick because you've not really wet it you've just dampened the top layer Yeah, all of those of you who haven't been using your zigs, right, I'm going to show you the zigs. Oh, I've lost the... Hang on. Let me see if it's on here. I don't know if it's... There we go. Zig Art and Graphic Twin. And these have... I'll show you in a second, but I've just dragged this. I don't really need to, to carry on doing that. So these have, I'm going to show you again. Let me just zoom in a bit on the camera. There you go. So look, they've got this tip and this is really squishy. So look, you can literally, and they actually want you to do that. So you can just go like that and it actually releases all out all the ink and you've not damaged it it goes back it kind of has a memory it's almost like a rubbery tip that's all i can explain it to you i used to actually be the brand ambassador for zig um for craft tv in the uk so way back in the day on creating craft and then they call them a twin because on the other end you've got a fine point and this point is really nice for writing or for doodling and doing anything like that with as well so it's one of those you need them in your stash you'll kind of want to keep them for best when you realize how good they actually are but you need to use them because i was quite ashamed that if you don't have hundreds of well i don't know if they have hundreds of colors actually they might do now they might have more this is an, a my favorite set is called mute it's a muted set and it's these colors this has got a bit of a mix in they don't belong in there but my favorites are I've just dropped it <coughs> it's this green i cannot live without and <coughs> this bluey color they're just all absolutely gorgeous there's a red that goes with that set i know some of these that's a like a, these are a pastel set but you get 12 in a pack and like i said they are a bit expensive but you will never need to replace these you'll have them forever i think I've, I've never had one that's dried out on me and I've had hours and hours and hours of using these. I can't, I, I, I can't tell you how many times I've used them. They're just absolutely amazing. So anyway, getting back to these, we did used to stop them, but, um, <coughs> but we sold out and people kind of, kind of went on to something else, I think. So. I'm going to just ignore that bit because it's a bit damp. I just want to get a little bit of this going on. And I've got quite a nice piece here, look. Because the other thing is, whilst this is damp, it's also really nice to tear as well. So you can almost tear it as you want it to be. So let's just get rid of that bit there. So I want this to kind of sit on top of the white, but for to still have white showing underneath. I'm not going to waste any of this. I'll, I'll keep it all. I've got all these like little sort of short tendrils. You see, you know, you could have like a, just a strip like that, but I, I kind of want a bit of a, so I've gone a bit thin there. So what's that like? And then it doesn't all have to be in one piece. What's that like and that like? Quite liking that. Looks quite nice. Maybe. Yeah, let's go with that. So let's just gonna trim that off. And I'm gonna add this. So try and keep it on a bit of an angle. I'm just gonna glue there. And down there just so it catches and I think actually yeah that way 
like I want that white to show because I want want to have almost like a matte layer so let's just trim this here let's just tear that off and then we'll trim that here and you can take a bit more time okay so going back to stash and finding something out of my stash I came across this ribbon and it was in my stash now I was going to use it but actually looking at it I'm not sure it goes with this now because it's it this has gone I didn't intend doing that it was just an idea I had so I think I'm going to leave that I'm not going to actually use that but it was a bit of one pound ribbon that I've had for I don't know two or three years I just got from the supermarket what I did find was this which is actually garden twine and when I actually put that on here uh, before I was worried that that wasn't going to match the red ribbon but now I put this on here because it's quite pinky burgundy colour that's actually going to match the ink here so what I'm going to do I'm going to surprise you here I'm not going to do what you think I'm going to do so I am going to and I didn't want to I shouldn't have put that down never mind I'm going to position that there in fact let's right this is what I'm going to do I'm going to separate this out it's a bit thick a bit like me I'm a bit thick sometimes so where's my pokey so let's get a pokey tool in here and let's just strip this down because I want it to be a bit finer than it is so just put your pokey tool right in the middle and then you can separate the, the fibers out and you can then unwind this and get it much finer and I always buy garden twine because it's so much cheaper than buying proper crafters twine okay should have thought about doing this before oh we're back on all the fibers again do you know what it took me ages to get all them fibers off last week you know <laughs> it was everywhere okay well we've got some finer ones so just gonna wrap that into like a little circle and I'm going to put, let's just put a dub, dub of glue on. Give me tweezers. Tweezers, where are you? No, not a knife. Where have they gone? Someone's moved them. That magic man's moved them. Oh, never mind. I had them earlier as well okay so we're just gonna just blob it in there it's just to hold it in place more than anything and then these two bits I'm gonna do kind of the same thing and we're gonna just position those there and let's just push that down into there You know, you can put them wherever you want, it doesn't matter. Kind of like those bits there, so let's have them falling down. This is very much, you know, kind of bung it on and see what happens. And if we wanted to, if we want to, I might cover that up. So look, let's take a bit more cardboard. And let's just add that over there so it just traps them. I'm just crafting here. I'm kind of forgetting that you guys are all there. How do they differ from the Zig Clean Colour Brush? Well, you know what? I actually got those out today as well. And you know what? I'm guilty of not using those. I have to confess. 
is a clean color brush i'm going to i'm going to use them in a minute this is going to go on this demo we're actually at an hour already so um i hope you can stay with me god mr mr doodles is going to be uh it's going to go you said it was going to be an hour well he'll just have to wait he's already had his tea he'll have to wait right so we've trapped that in place now i'm not bothered about the glue that's going to vanish anyway so let's move on to markers and things so what i've I just need to put a bit of glue under there it's not sticking i don't think i put any under so you just put them on there let's grab our scrap card that we taught earlier so i want to show you the zig oh, look i'm starting to rush now the zig clean color markers oh my hands i'm filthy i don't know what i've done with them oh yeah they're next to me <laughs> okay so I'm going to ink my poinsettia. I'm just going to do one because I've already actually coloured these. So I'm using the VersaFine ink. And what we will do whilst we're at it, I'm going to use the Cardinal. I just love this Cardinal. And I've just realised there's another stamp on here I want to use. So I'm just going to stamp that. And before I forget, because I know I'm going to forget it, there's another stamp I wanted to use, which is this pine cone. And this was actually Chris that made me do a pine cone. So I'm going to use, not a dark brown, I'm going to use a light brown here. And it's kind of quite a greenish brown. Have I put the wrong, do you know, I think I put the wrong tip on there. Let me just try that. Oh no, it'll be all right. So let's put a pine cone on. I'm not sure that's going to work. Let's do it in. Let's do it in black anyway. Just very lightly. We'll have a little pine cone. Got to do three. Let's just bung one down there. And then what we'll do is we'll actually just colour that in slightly. So we can now go in and just look. We can just put a little bit of ink on there just to colour that in. And then again, just get the brush. And let's just work that in a little bit. Okay. So, move them out of the way. So, clean colour. Um, funny that you should ask. I, had a, I must have had a feeling you were going to ask. I must have known. So, I've got here, I'm, I'm going to bring these up here so I can show you. So, these are my clean colours. Forget these. These are some cheaper, nasty set that I bought on uh, Amazon to see what they were like, and they were not very good. Well, actually, that's a lie. They were okay, but, you know, they're not... I, I actually like to have a good quality when I'm actually colouring because at the end of the day, if you don't have good quality, then you're not going to get a good result. That's that's the top and bottom of it. The best colourers in the world, if they use the worst markers, are not going to colour as well as if they've got good pens. So always buy the best you can afford that's all i can say and i'm not endorsing you to always go out and get the most expensive product that's not at all there are good things around out there and actually these for the price um i think these were too expensive for what they are i think they were about 20 pound maybe for a set like that so a pound a pen forget it they, there's no way they were worth that they were like a fiver at the most so clean color brush these are um, if I go like that, maybe let me pick a darker colour that you can see. So these are ultra fine. So these are made by Zig as well. So look at the fine tip on that. And it's actually a brush pen. And again, it's water-based. It's not watercolour. 
it's water based so that's the number one thing where they differ from the uh zig art and, art and graphic twin because they are more watercolor um and the, this is just my selection that i've got always do a swatch so you know exactly what you've got and what you're going to use i haven't used these for a long time until today it's funny that you should ask because I wanted to just use them for a change. I thought, I, I've never, to be honest, I think I was spoilt for choice in what I had available and therefore I didn't actually use them because I just didn't get around to it. So we are going to use these. So I'm going to pick, let me see, what colour is this? Wine red. Let's see. So we want a really nice colour for, let's go geranium. This is really nice it's a really nice kind of quite intense red that's not it it's purple is that geranium yeah geranium so we're going to do the bird and i'm going to zoom right in for you can we go a bit further yeah okay so look these if i go on here look you can see how nice they are really nice and juicy again now what you can i'm working on watercolor and i need to show you a little trick so a lot of people if you actually pick two opposing colors so yellow and red here and you you can do this with um a lot of zig markers you can do this with the art and graphic twin as well but if you just touch the tip of there so i've got the red onto the yellow and then start to color you can get a really nice custom blend so if you've got a big area to color um you can actually blend it in now because these are not watercolors you do need to work faster than with a watercolor they've kind of got more dye in them so basically if you're wanting to actually blend then you need to work pretty fast you, you know you've got I don't know a minute or so I would say it depends on the card that you are using if you're using watercolor like I am you've got much much longer to work with them um, but if you're not if you're using like a, a stamping card or something like that they do dry really much much faster than you might expect so you can paint with these you can um, sorry I just realized it was off the camera then you can uh, add layers to kind of get a bit more depth going on um you can do let me just show you that again so if we had say for instance uh let me draw let me just draw a petal so if we were doing say a flower so you would start with the darkest bit in the center and then and this is why everyone loves them because no blending required you just need to know where to actually color from and then look i can actually pull that out and get kind of like proper marks in there as well and if i wanted to go back in and add a bit more again this is because i'm on watercolor the card though don't forget so by now if i wasn't on watercolor that'd be starting to um kind of get hard to blend but they dry they do dry quite fast but you can see how vibrant the colors are they're amazingly vibrant they're absolutely lovely to work with they feel great in your hands they're just phenomenal so i want to just put a I don't know if he's got a yellow beak but he's having one so what i want to do i'm going to take not that i'm going to take where is it purple yeah i'm going to color with purple so i'm going to actually use my purple and i'm going to use my purple to just add a little bit of depth and then I'm going to blend that out with the same red so that geranium again and it's just adding enough shadow that I need there 
and then I'm going to do the same here now it does pick up a bit of the darker colour so when I started to colour then it picked up some of the purple but you can quickly kind of colour this in I don't want to colour the whole thing because I've got we're over time already so I'm going to take that same purple and look how intense that is and rich and I'm just going to add shadows maybe we need to do some colouring classes again do we need to do some colouring guys and look you can pretty much paint with that colour you know it's kind of changing the colour and then it, it just blends out so you know th there was a pen out there that someone brought out a few years back that you know their whole selling point was that it, these pens did this they were alcohol markers but basically um you know you don't need that you've already got it now i've already colored this poinsettia in and i just want to show you how amazing that is so that's with these pens and all i did was i used um a green um sorry two different greens and i used the red and the purple that i've just shown you there so i went i only did one layer in the center and i kind of worked from the outside inwards but look how lovely they are look how, they're just phenomenal they've just come out so well and i've fallen in love with these markers all over again and i'd forgotten all about them i'm really bad it was actually someone on facebook uh, one of my friends on Facebook the other day who's also a bit of a pen geek uh, like I am and she said that there were new colours and she'd I don't know if she'd lost them or she couldn't find them or or whatever but she was saying and I just thought oh god yeah new colours I need new colours and I thought yeah why haven't I used them before so I'm just going to zoom back out so we'll just cut this little birdie out So he's really easy to cut. You're getting your zigs out again, yeah. Oh, the, the koi bending brush, yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? And actually, you know what, the, the other one, the Tombow, I love the Tombow one as well. I don't know which, I, I like them both for different reasons, but I have to confess, so far, I think I've used the Tombow one more. Do you know, Tombow are another brand that is very overlooked in the UK. When I first opened my craft shop back in 2006, Tombow was one of the brands that I stocked. And it was so overlooked. It used to really bug me that, um, you know, it was, it was quite hard for me to actually get product in from it because it is an American brand. Right, I'm going to just pinch a snowflake here. <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so just get rid of that before I boob that on something um, <coughs> excuse me I've still got some ink <coughs> some of that speckled <coughs> I've got a frog it's just I'm just going to ink the centre <coughs> sounds like I've lost my voice and I haven't let's just put that there and we're going to position him there, I think. <coughs> <coughs> it's not going. Let me just grab a drink. Ugh. Okay, let me grab another one. It's not quite giving me the look I want. <clears throat> I think I've actually lost my voice. Let's just position another one on there. That's it. So it kind of almost looks like it's a flower. And it makes that stand out a little bit more then. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to, I think what we need to do is have a smaller one. I'm just positioning this so you can see. And then it kind of kills me, but I'm going to do it. We're going to cut this in half. And this is how to get away with not colouring as much as you think you're going to need to and let's just put that one 
yeah let's put that one right underneath there so it gets a lot of dimension coming into it do you know i think that's really lovely so i'm not going to glue those down for now but you can you can see where we are with it and then all we need is a sentiment and i'm going to go back to the stamp set so it's the poinsettia stamps again still grab that off there and we're just going to get a little bit of scrap so like i said you know all the little scraps that I had before we're still going to use I want it to be neat. I want a neat edge on this one. So I don't like, I'm very funny about sentiments. So I like them to be quite precise. So season's greetings. Lovely. And then all we'll do is we'll just trim that down. Just get these pens out of the way. So I want to see you all using your zigs. I know you've all got them at home. And probably bought them because of me. <laughs> and they're not around on TV anymore. I think part of the problem is, I think people think they're too expensive. And it's not until you actually get them in your hands and start using them that you realise why you're paying a bit more. So I'm just going to trim that off. Sorry, my camera's gone off at an angle. And uh, Okay. And I think we just took that. Don't want to cover this up. This is actually really nice, but that's quite dark there under there. So I think we'll just put that there. And do you know what I might do? <clears throat> just let's just it's a different colour now, so it's not creamy, it's white. Let's just put Let's just cut this in half as well and we'll just put another snowflake. I feel like we just need another little bit under there. Just to finish that off, yeah, for sure. And maybe even a little bit up, yeah, a little bit up there, look. That snowflake dye is a polka doodles dye. Oh, I just use it all the time. I use it all year round. And that, my friends, is it. I'm not doing any more to that. I just absolutely love it. I think it looks so rich. And the colour that you're seeing there on screen, yeah, it's a little bit darker. But the richness of that colouring, that red, and then just I think the colours are quite unusual to have the purple the green then this green and then have it in red but I think it actually really works um so that's it I hope you've enjoyed it I'm gonna just we need to do a give a quick giveaway don't we so let me move all this stuff so I can actually get to my computer and oh do you know I really like that really like it it was going to actually in fact originally it was going to sit on my sentiment let me see yeah you see you could look it could sit on the sentiment but i've kind of gone actually you know what i think i might like that more like that and have him sit in there i'll reposition slightly but I think I like the sentiment over that side. Ooh. But to be honest, I think it looks really nice. But yeah, the layers on layers. But actually, there weren't that many, were there? It's this. It's the watercolour bit here that I think makes it look like there's layers on layers on layers. But we just did literally a couple of bits of stamping. Right. Okay. Thank you. 
so we need to do a giveaway so i haven't got anything to give you um but we will do uh let me think let's do a ten dollar voucher or ten pound voucher so it's more in dollars just slightly more in dollars so a ten pound voucher for someone i'm going to pick a random user now unfortunately i don't have everyone's names here so i'm just going to pick your name out randomly from the people from the names i do have and it's going to be let me see who's been here for a while gg gg kotcheva so gg uh ten dollar voucher can you email me at website or go to the website and email me through the contact form on the website because there's still a big lag on this um email me and just say facebook live winner and then we'll sort that out as a credit on your account um so um that's 10 pound voucher for you so it's quarter past eight so time's getting on um so i'm gonna love you and leave you so any uh i'm gonna just read through and any more comments what do you want me to do next week oh no i won't be here next week so next week uh friday the 14th friday the 14th i'm on creating craft uh can't tell you what time i don't know i think it's morning morning i think it's 7 and 12 something like that uh we have a new release for you next week it's not christmas but um i think you're gonna love it especially i'll give you a little hint especially if you like mixed media so um can't wait for that this is why i couldn't get in christmas mode this week um so yeah that's creating craft next week so i won't be here next thursday but have a little think about what you want me to do and maybe we do need to do some coloring so maybe we need to do some zig coloring maybe we need to do watercolors and stuff um but you know if you leave me comments or send me emails saying can you do this can you do that i'll try and fit it in so you know i'm always kind of running out of ideas it's hard sometimes to think of what to actually show you so you know you uh send the ideas in and i'll see what i can do or challenge me to do something right i'm gonna sign off thank you so much for joining me it's been lovely um i think this is actually one of the nicest projects we've done so i'm gonna i'll post a photo up of it online tomorrow so you can all follow it so go and get your zigs out and follow the video back as well don't forget um you know because that's the great thing about doing this go if you can't find it on facebook go over to youtube because it's sitting there on youtube permanently forever so um you know go over there and do it and follow it along with your zigs and just try just that technique of coloring in your stamps it completely opens up your techniques i'm going to take these to create and craft next week and i'm going to do that again on create and craft i think as part of my demoing because i've fallen back in love with them and uh, I feel like they've been a little ignored, my zigs. I have to go and, I've got some more colours somewhere. I need to go and find all of them. Right, lovelies. Thank you so much for joining me. It's Thursday night, so enjoy your weekend. Um, and just another little heads up. I haven't mentioned, I, I did put it out on Facebook, but just in case nobody saw it, and there are people here from the area on the 16th, so two days after we were on Crate and Craft on the 14th, and then next a week on sunday the 16th we're actually at doncaster dome um and we've not done that show before so we're really excited so we hope some of you are going to join us at the dome we've had lots of messages from people saying yeah i love the dome shows it's, it was always a really good show so i hope to see some of you there but if not because lots of you are from around the world um i'll definitely see you a week on thursday if not before maybe we'll try and do if i've got time next week i might try and do one a bit earlier in the week right okay i'm going good night everyone thank you so much for joining me thanks for all your lovely comments and gg remember to email me see you soon bye bye